advisor Danny. Oh, so okay. I'm doing uh, YouTube probably four or five parts, 10, 15 minutes each one. Oh. And food trucks, anybody who wants to talk, and awesome. put it up. So hopefully it helps promote your business too. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> we started this business because we lost our last business. Like we, we actually took our, we built this business to be able to keep it afloat. We had a gym in Vancouver. Oh, okay. And then it didn't survive. So this was paying our trainers, paying Zoom classes, and anything we could do to stay open. And then third wave hit, we were done. So now we're trying to build this so that we can come back. So your gym was a full one yeah, of a two kind? Gyms. Two yeah, gyms. It was a classes fitness studio. Those are considered non-essential, right? Okay. Yeah. The big ones were able to open. The small ones, we only had six people in every class, four meters in between. We had to close. So we were mandatory close 87% of the time. So your two gyms will not reopen? We'll open one if we can get, you know, we have to pay every two members. But we'll try again for sure. This uh, story, story is one that we've heard a lot about and it's not unique of the small and medium-sized businesses what i've done all my life my work is helping uh, small medium-sized owners expand their business but usually i'm in asia oh, okay, usually yeah. i'm in japan and helping them either franchise or expand so yeah. all of that business because that's all i do and love is um on hold and in, we were there we were at the point where people were wanting to invest and franchise like in different areas your gyms yeah what and were your gyms called uh marvel fitness marvel fitness okay yeah. i'll and look it, was, it up uh, yeah west broadway by the old men why did you get into this business just to make money for zoom like we had to pay the coaches we got wage subsidy from the government but it wasn't enough so we did this so that we can hire the coaches to do six classes a day so did, but what was the connection with this business? How I just, did I just, you know, I, I like concrete and I like planters, <laughs> and there was really, I just fell in love with it. So we started this. We did this in candles, and then this kind of took off more than candles. So we stuck more with this. But this is a really nice person, and please support her online. We're gonna put all of her links and whatever social media she has so that people can help a small business. Two gyms now closed, maybe one will reopen if this business can help them get back to a place where it's possible. I hope so. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Good talk. And so I'll much. do everything I can to help uh, promote it. And uh, 
We're trying to get into stores soon. Like, I started working for Canada Post because my anxiety was so high. I, I, I'm normally, like, I sold heavy equipment for this. Oh, wow. And, yeah, I was always, like, management, stuff like that. But I needed something that got me out of the house and was exercise because I was depressed sitting at home, you know. So now, my Canada Post, and then we're going to start going to local shops in Fraser Valley because we just moved out here to save a bit of money. Where are the products made? Uh, in our garage. Here in this area or Vancouver? Uh, White Rock. In White Rock? Yeah. We just uh, moved out to like South Surrey, White Rock. I was just there doing, in fact, you can see on my YouTube uh, nine part of um, White Rock Seat Tours. Oh, okay. The owner's a friend of mine, yeah, yeah. Andrew Newman. And so oh. we went out and uh, I love White Rock. Did a birthday with my sister there at yeah, Charlie so Don't Surf. I needed to feel like, because I, I felt congested there, because it yeah. is already congested. Right. But I would walk out the door and I would see our family, our members everywhere, and I couldn't get over it. I couldn't right. stop talking about it. So we moved. Yeah, we moved to like kind of get some clarity and a little bit of distance from. I don't know. I didn't want to move from BC, but that was one option. So we moved out here. And it feels like we moved to a different province. It's crazy. It's Fraser Valley is like huge. There's good people mm -hmm. out here. Oh, yeah, I know. It's not that people mean to be um, believing everything they're hearing as if it was the truth. Yeah. Or and you know what? Like, other things. Myself, I, I, a person in my situation could have gone one way and right. gone and rioted. Not rioted, but you know. Right did those Pro protests yeah. yeah like i could have been that that person that lost and yeah. been angry or i could put all of my energy and my sadness into something that's going to push me forward in a positive way there was two different choices right and i wanted to because i wanted to be that person but i just right. couldn't you know right i was like okay well that's just for my business it's opposite of what we are you know we're trying to tell everyone and teach everyone right so right well, yeah. you're going to have a lot of success. I hope so, yeah. I'm going to believe that those words will have power in your life. Yeah. And uh, it's all going to come back come back together. And yeah. the struggle you have now in the future will be a memory. But right now, I think it's painful. Yeah. And it's hard for people to understand. And, uh, hang in there. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for letting me talk to you. Yeah. Now I'm gonna shake this off. And do this little bit. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe it'll be useful for the two days of uh, business. Yeah. Hopefully you'll have. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> a lovely person going through some of the things that many other people are going through around the world. Small, medium-sized business owners that have been damaged uh, by everything that's happened over the past two years. Hopefully a better day for them, for each of us is coming. For you too. Okay. You. Which is a brand new menu that, that we brought out for the, the PE. So, very cool. 
welcome. This is Food Truck Festival. It's my first food truck festival. What's it called? Concrete Design Company. What's your name? Jeanette. Jeanette. My name's Danny. Hi, Danny. Uh, foot long hot dogs and a plant butcher, which is a brand new menu that, that we brought cool. out for the, the PEs. So. Very cool. Yeah. This is UAPS security. UAPS security, Unified Asset Protection Services and Security Limited. Well, it's a 10-year it's a story, so I actually met Jason through working with his family uh, at the p &E 10 years ago. BC Shop local market, so during the pandemic, we had to pivot our events to a drive through That's why I'm asking for you too. If you're going to become a food truck owner, you got to be in it, and you got to understand there's some risk, right? Yep. And you gotta understand nobody's gonna love your business as much as you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you just as soon as possible, okay? Yes. So let's see what 